This happened when I was in fourth or fifth grade. It was just a typical day. My friend's parents were working, so I went over to my friend's house and we played together. It was around 1 p.m. I was packing up to go to the academy when my friend suddenly grabbed my arm. Can't you just stay with me until my parents come home? However, I was sure that my mom would scold me if I missed the academy, so I told my friend I'd stop by again afterwards and then left. I was on my way back to my friend's house around 4 p.m., but when I reached his house, there were policemen next to it. I could see some officers and other people around the area. It turned out that there was a married couple living there, and the wife committed suicide while her husband was on his way to work. After that, while I was walking home with my friend so that we could play at my house, I suddenly got scared. So I asked. Why did you tell me not to go to the academy earlier? Then my friend said that he heard a woman's voice through the wall while we were playing at his house earlier. And this is what my friend told me. The woman said, I wanna die. 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 For some time, I used to try to experience a past life, but I'd always fall asleep whenever I tried to. One day, I tried to experience my past life. As soon as I woke up in the morning, I fell asleep again. I usually either don't dream or remember my dream after waking up, but this time, my dream was so vivid. In my dream, I was walking up the stairs, and there were tons of flowers and grass on both sides. So I kept walking up the stairs, and I was excited, but then a man came down the stairs. He was handsome, but aside from his looks, I felt a little scared of him. I could see that all of his clothes were black and dull. The man walked towards me, so I tried to pass him with my eyes looking down, but then he suddenly said, You have no past life, and this isn't where you're from he said, while shoving me. I woke up at that moment, but I still vividly remember the feeling of him pushing me. After that, I stopped trying to experience my past life. My brother used to suffer from a serious sleepwalking problem. The problem is gone now, but just two years ago, he would wake up every night knock on the door of his bedroom, and walk alone. That was his creepy habit for a while. One day my parents went on a trip, and my brother and I were home alone. That night, I started to hear a tapping sound on the door while I was sleeping in my bedroom. When I opened my eyes, I noticed that it was coming from outside the door. So I opened it, and my brother was standing in front of my door. He was looking down at me without blinking an eye, and all of a sudden, he smiled. His skin looked so pale because he was sick at the time. It was horrifying. I ran to my bedside to call my mom, but my brother came into the bedroom, started to slowly turn around in circles, but suddenly stopped. Then he started whispering into the air. Don't do it. I'm sorry. Sorry. Don't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I was so scared of him that I started to cry. Murmuring for about 10 minutes, he suddenly said, Shut up, you little brat. And then he fell down right on the spot. My mom still didn't answer the phone. I rushed to my brother's room, locked the door while crying to myself, and tried to fall asleep. Maybe it was around 3 a.m., I suddenly heard someone trying to open my brother's door, but it sounded like someone's head was banging on the door. Thinking that it was my brother, I held my breath, and then it was quiet. Thank goodness, I'll be safe here until the morning, I thought at first. But after about an hour, I needed to go to the toilet so badly. I didn't hear anything outside the door, and my brother seemed to be asleep again. So I took a deep breath, opened the door, and tried to get back quickly. 
My brother, he was crawling around on all fours in the living room. Not on his knees crawling on the floor. He was moving around with both hands and feet on the floor, and his face was buried between his hands. I didn't even scream when I saw that bizarre figure of my brother. He was crawling in the dark living room. There wasn't a single light, and I think that was the most fear I've ever experienced in my life. While I was just shivering without moving an inch, I met his eyes and he looked like a dead man, as if he took some kind of drug. I snapped out of it when I saw his eyes. Then I ran back into the room, locked the door again, cried and finally fell asleep. The next morning I went outside and asked my brother about the night before, but he didn't remember anything. No way. What for? He said he couldn't remember anything at all no matter how many times I asked him. That was the most frightening experience I've ever had.